Our next guest is super smart. Not only did he go to MIT, but he is a professor at the incredible engineering school up there in Boston on the river, the Charles River. But I've heard of STEM, but Dr. Clofer, you want to put the A into it, right? That's right. I mean, so we have this, this STEM area, and the idea is the A stands for arts. Um, and so we want to be able to think about ways that we can integrate arts and creativity into the traditional STEM topic areas. And this is to sort of tap into to, to the interesting kids to help them develop their creative and expressive capabilities um, to really ready them for the 21st century when it's important to have all those STEM content areas mastered, but it's also important to be creative, expressive, original, um, and passionate about what you're learning. Doctor, given all your wisdom, you truly believe that all of us can be creative? Um, I, I think it's a matter of, of tapping into each individual's interests uh, and passion, um, being able to figure out ways as a, as a teacher that you can, or a parent that you can kindle those interests in your own kid um, or your own students, um, and being able to provide them with the tools that, that make that fun and interesting. Um, as, as we look at the technology-enabled tools that we have now to do things like you know, produce websites or produce uh, music. There's so many different ways that, that we can express ourselves creatively. Um, you can express yourself creatively through computer code. You can express yourself creatively through painting and art. You can express yourself creatively through, um, through acting and, and, uh, and, and visual arts. So there's so many different ways to do it. Doctor, what is the call to action today? Um, our call to action is really to start to think about ways that we can engage kids in this. Um, as I said, from, from early on in their younger years um, on up through college, uh, just the other day I was working with my daughter on a, on a new uh, VTech InnoTab Max tablet, um, and we were doing things like um, making um, stop motion animation videos where she had to think about how far apart things were going to be framed and where things were going to move and how long it was going to be. Um, and it allowed her to express herself creatively, to do things that were fun, but at the same time she had to use all these kind of technology skills, she had to think about mathematical skills and planning, um, and it's ways of being able to provide kids with those kinds of interesting opportunities that we want to be able to do more of. Well, that's certainly cool. It's a new name to me, but what is VTech? Uh, VTech is a company that makes, among other things, uh, a lot of uh, uh, electronics for, for younger kids, um, so they make uh, toys and tablets, um, and the most recent one is this InnoTab Max tablet um, that combines sort of Android content that's, uh, pr uh, that's sort of closed and safe along with some of their traditional proprietary cartridge-based content to provide kids with the sort of most access to safe content that combines some of that more traditional materials with a lot of the creative and expressive apps that we find today on, on the Android platform. All I can say is that kids today have it good. Doctor, thanks for being with us and thanks for caring about STEM and putting the A in it because arts are important. Thanks again. Thanks, good to be with you.